guys want a shot at winning a copy of Call of Duty World War II for the console of your choice for absolutely free, a couple of my friends and I are doing a little giveaway. Link is down there in the description below. Go check it out if you're interested. Coming up into October, we have probably a little bit of a split in the road and possibilities for what we could see. As it stands right now, this will be the last month of three active titles in the Call of Duty community. And whether you like Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Master, Black Ops 3 individually, or all three of them, or maybe none of them at all, October stands to pose a little bit of a question on how we can see the franchise go out with a bang this year. That being, maybe we see absolutely a ton of content drop here and there across every single title, maybe that being specifically community events, seasonal events like that, something of the sorts, but it also has the possibility to not have anything at all. So that said, I wanna talk in particular, thinking about this sort of idea, one particular thing. I wanna talk about community contracts because we have not seen one in a while and as it stands right now, there's still a bunch of camos that we have in Black Ops 3 that we've yet to see made public to everybody. Now I'm not gonna make any sort of notion harping on those camos because we've covered those in detail many times and as we've mentioned it so many times before, I don't think it's necessarily the most needed thing to bring those up and showcase them again for you guys, but instead I wanna talk about the community contract idea itself. So that said, jumping into it, we've had three community contracts to date, if I'm not mistaken. We had the Road to Champs, which was on August 19th, 2016 of last year, in which we got calling cards, and then the ultimate reward was the Prize Fighter's melee weapon. Then we had the Headshot Challenge on May 12th of 2017 this year, in which we had Zombies calling cards and the Dragonfire camo as the ultimate reward, right around in conjunction with the release of Zombies Chronicles. Then a month later, we had a Headshot Challenge once again on June 9th of this year, which we got the cosmic camo and nothing else. So when we could see another one, if at all, it's due up in time. And realistically, if you follow the channel for any real portion of time in which we do these sorts of theories on when we can see something next, we always try to find that interval of time and derive an average in which we can apply it from the last one and see how far ahead from that will be the next one. Now, in this case though, it's kind of hard to derive an average simply because three data entries, if you've taken anything that relates to probability statistics or any data related classes out of schooling, you know that three data entries is not enough of a sample size to yield an incredibly accurate results and the margin of error would be sky high so I can't necessarily pinpoint anything down because there's such a major difference in the time intervals the road to champs challenge to the headshot challenge for Chronicles was 266 days then the Chronicles headshot challenge to the cosmic camo challenge was 28 days so it's actually almost kind of laughable how major of a difference those two were because Honestly, when you take a look at it, that average is incredibly skewed because one is an extreme outlier and then one interval is the only other one we've seen. So when it comes down to it, though we've already passed that 28 day interval that we saw previously by a long shot and more so coming up on the almost four month period, that's something where we may or may not see something moving into October. And the only reasoning because of that doesn't come down to any interval in time average. It's more so just because the calendar is really open in October. There's no DLC, there's no beta outside the final day of the PC beta, nothing but clear space on that calendar. So this could lead to DLC weapons, a seasonal Modern Warfare Mastered event, a special playlist, perhaps the return of gun game, but it also leaves the door open for the idea of another contract. One final hurrah to bring everybody together on one game to grind something out, and this may be the final time that we have the ability to see that. Contracts, once again, are more so meant to be something to bring the entire community together to grind out one common goal. And we more than likely won't see that happen after the release of World War II, as the focus from both a business standpoint and a community standpoint will be to pour hours into the newest title and keep that at the top as long as possible. It'll allow players to immerse themselves in a game that takes the series back to the roots, then allows Treyarch to batten down the hatches and prep for their World Ride reveal coming a few months later. So that said, we probably won't be seeing any community contracts to bring players into Black Ops 3 after the World War II launch. So this upcoming month of, once again, very open calendar space 
could either be the perfect time to do it and maybe even the last time to do it. But on the same side of the coin, this open space could easily be argued against because during the time of the previous contracts, there was way more likely a chance that the player base was much larger at that time compared to now. If you take a look at it, Road to Champs was still Black Ops 3 was in its prime. It was still the main development cycle of Black Ops 3. And then around the headshot challenges that we got about two thirds of a year later, those were times whenever the game was incredibly populated because of Chronicles coming out, the hype that it created for that, a DLC 5 for the first time coming in Black Ops 3. And then of course, things were still really active back in June. But now that might not necessarily be the case because all things lose active members over time and now nearly four months after the last contract, it's very possible many people may have lost interest, many people may have gone back to school, back to work, and really a lot of time is not there that they could have grinded out the game previously. So it's possible that right now there just is not as big an active audience as there was back for these other contracts. So that said, it really leaves it open-ended on if there will be one at all. But I think that if there's going to be one, even though it sounds like kind of a cop-out answer, it would definitely utilize this month to be able to allow players to grind out one final time Black Ops 3 before heading into World War II's launch. So that said, that's where I'm going to turn it over to you guys. What do you think? Because like I've mentioned before, we have still, I believe, seven or eight camos that are yet to be released, some of which probably won't be more so because they're more placeholder or incomplete builds of some camos, but a lot of them also do have menu information tied to them, which means that all they have to do is have that theoretical flick of a switch and they're available to be usable in game and be applied without having to tamper with any game code. So. These sort of things are still in there, but will we see them and will we see them via community contract? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Of course, there is no right or wrong answer, so let me know your thoughts. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Black Ops 3 and of course, World War II as well. So if any of that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And finally, if you guys wanna follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube, but practically live on Twitter. So if you guys wanna strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said, now out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. Modest Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.